In this episode, I'm going to talk about how to handle mouse input um, events. So the left click, the middle click, and also the right click, and also how to get the mouse position on the window. So I already typed out everything. So the first thing in the My Game class, I'm just disabling the default uh, camera mouse controls by calling the self the disable mouse. And as uh, the same as with the keyboard events, we can use the self that accept method. And first, I'm accepting the mouse one, which is the left mouse button, and I'm added here a callback method, which is the self that mouse click. And I'm also added the self that mouse one dash up. So this is when we press the button, and this is. This is called when we release the left mouse button. And here I'm added for the middle mouse button, which is mouse 2. And I'm also bound the mouse click method to the when we press the mouse 2. And uh, also when the mouse 2 is up, so we release the mouse uh, middle mouse button, we are also calling this method. And the same for the mouse right. And this is the mouse uh, free and we are also calling the mouse click method and when the mouse right or the mouse free is up so it is released we calling the mouse click method so here in the mouse click method i'm just getting the um, mouse position using the self that win that get pointer zero and this returns a vector 2. So when I'm printing out, I'm just getting the x and the y value of the mouse. So md1 that get x and md1 that get y. And this returns the mouse uh, coordinates uh, in window um, coordinates. So it means that uh, from x uh, it ranges from 0 to the window's width, so 1280. And on Y, it ranges from 0 to 720. So let me show you. So here in the upper left corner is 0, 0. So if I click, uh, I cannot get too close to the... So it is close to 0, 0. So 3, 2 and here in the bottom right is the 1280 and 720 so near to 1280 and 720 and now i'm clicking with the left mouse button uh, i also can click with the right mouse button and also with the middle mouse button so it always prints out the the click position but uh, it also prints out not just the press position but also when the release position so if let's say if I press here it prints out uh, 63 and 61 and I'm still holding down the left mouse button and if, and if I move the here let's say the cursor and I'm releasing it and let's go here so here was the press position and here was the release position so we added both the press and also the release and now let's take a look i'm just going to comment this out and uncomment this the second way is actually to use the self that mouse watcher node that get mouse and after this we are this is also a vector 2 so after this we are getting the md2 that get x and MT, md2 that get y so the x and the y position and this ranges from negative 1 to 1 and on the x and negative 1 to 1 on the y so where so where the 0 0 is in the middle of the screen so let me see if i click here it is close to 0 0 and it also printed out the click position and also the release position and 
the negative one on x is here, and the negative, I mean the positive one on x is here, so in the right side. And here is the positive one for the y. Here it is, here is the y, so it was close to uh, 1, and here is the negative 1 for the y. So these values ranging from negative 1 to 1, x and negative 1 to 1, y, and as I said, the 0, 0 is in the middle of, of the window. Okay, so the next thing I'm just going to show you here in this update method, um, now I'm just going to pass here and just comment out this part. And here I'm going to do hops, and this is, should be commented out. So this is the mouse position in screen coordinates, so from 0 to 1280 on X and from 0 to 720 on Y. So we, we are using here in this update method the same uh, method we used here, so cell.win.getPointer0, cell.win.getPointer0, but now uh, it will print out continuously the mouse X and mouse Y position. So if I go here, I'm close to 0, 0. And if I go here to the lower right, I'm close to 1280 and 720. And now let's do the second, which is this one. So first thing I have to do, I'm also going to print it out, so print x and y. So this is the same method we used here in the mouse click, so self.mousewatcher node that get mouse. And uh, first thing we need to do is always check if the mouse is inside the window. So we can do this with self.mousewatcher node that has mouse method. And then we are getting the mouse watcher node that get mouse x and also the mouse watcher node that get mouse y and then we just printing it out so let me see it and now as you can see here somewhere in the middle we are close to zero zero and if i move the mouse right we are going to close to the on the x to the one here to the negative one and here is the positive y, and here is the negative y. And if I leave the window, this, this evaluates to false, so it doesn't print when, when the mouse is uh, not inside the window. So without this check, I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to comment this out, and and just move it here. So if the cursor mouse pointer is inside the window, everything is okay, but as soon as I leave the window, it will crash. Now, as you can see. So that's why that's why we need to check for mouse watcher node that has mouse.